Welcome to Geo Dredging and Dewatering Solutions Laboratory. My name is Kaylee and today we're going to walk through one of our field tests known as an RDT or Rapid Dewatering Test if you're not into the whole brevity thing. In order to perform the RDT you need a few things. First off, you'll need an RDT which is composed of a GT500 disc which is the same material that our geotubes are constructed of, the funnel, and a cylinder to hold the material. Next, you will need some raw material. That's what we'll be using today. And finally, you'll need some made down polymer to a 0.5 solution. In order to administer the polymer, you'll need a syringe and to hold everything, a variety of graduated jars and graduated cylinders. Let's begin. So what we do first is we take our material and we simply add polymer to it. Once we've added the polymer, we then close the jar and we mix it. In order to mix it, we use a sl slight uh, tumbling and swirling motion, something like this. And we do this about 10 to 15 times until the material has properly flocculated. All right. There we have it. This is what the material looks like when it's flocculated. Next step is to actually perform the RDT. In order to do that, we have to assemble our RDT. We take the disc, insert it into the funnel, and simply screw on the cylinder. We then place the RDT on top of a graduated cylinder, and using some type of timepiece, in this case a cell phone, we'll time out a minute and see how much effluent is collected from the dewatering test. Here we go. Once you've timed out for a minute, you will then take the amount of effluent you've collected in the graduated cylinder and record that number. We'll then take our effluent and pour it into a clean graduated jar. What we're also left with in our RDT is a cake. Gives us a good idea of what the material will look like once it's dewatered. We can then also measure the moisture content of our dewatered material. Now the purpose of our RDT test is to help us determine which polymers will work best to dewater whatever type of material we're dealing with. And there you have it. So we went from our raw material to our conditioned flocculated material and we collected our nice clean clear filtrate. So there you have it. That's one simple RDT test and we use that first to help determine which polymer we'll use and that leads into our next test, the GDT or geotube dewatering test. Thank you. Thank you.